Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. And once again, this is the seven-day chart. We're sitting here just above 58 and a half cents. Right now, we are just going sideways. We're fluctuating within a three to four cent channel, waiting to break out. And everybody's expecting that breakout moment to happen at any time. But you know, nobody can call this market 100%. You know when it's gonna happen? When we all least expect it. We're just gonna wake up one day and XRP is already gonna be sitting above a dollar. And that time is definitely coming. Expert says, do not sleep on XRP as millions can be made with XRP parabolic explosion. So this comes from BitLord and he said this on Sunday night. But like I always tell you, nobody can call this market. You know, everybody's expecting it to happen and everybody knows it's going to happen. They're all trying to time it. The problem is you cannot time this market at all. It's going to do what it's going to do. But, you know, everybody hates on XRP, too. You know, they're always saying, oh, it's a dead crypto. It's the most boring crypto to hold. When it breaks out, though, everybody has to have it. Ripple transfers 200 million XRP amid growing speculation of U.S. SEC appeal. Again, we're seeing Ripple transferring 200 million XRP. But it's all speculation. Nobody knows what's really going on. You know, everybody's guessing there as well. You, even the article says, growing speculation of U.S. SEC appeal. But wait until some big announcement comes from Ripple. Then we'll know why they're moving all this XRP around. Until then, nobody knows what's happening. Stu Alderati forecast the SEC is likely to appeal the decision by Judge Torres. Should the appeal take place, it would go to the Supreme Court. Stu foresees a win there as well for Ripple. Coincidentally, in 2021 to 2022, Tom Emmer put in Bill H.R. 4451, Security Clarity Act, which states the asset would be a commodity and a new term would be derived, investment contract asset. This is what XRP is. We're waiting for this bill to go through. Then you will have full clarity. Through the SEC, we know XRP is not, but not what it is. This bill would provide the clarity. So we know XRP is not a security, but what is XRP? If this bill gets put in place, we would have full clarity for XRP. It's the same reason I'm always telling you the biggest holdback on the price of XRP is regulations. There's no clear path forward. We have politicians, they want a clear path forward so innovation can push ahead. Here in the crypto space, we want a clear path forward so mass adoption can begin, so institutional adoption can begin. But Stuart Alderati thinks that the SEC cannot appeal the judge's decision. Now, how would that factor in on XRP in this next run-up? I don't think it'll factor in at all because it's not going to happen until sometime in 2026. This run is going to start this year and run into next year. And then by, by then, I think utility will be pushing the price of XRP as well. So I don't think this is going to have a big impact on XRP either way. But we still got to wait and see what happens. We will create a safe business environment with consistent and transparent rules of the road, Harris said. Kamala Harris finally breaks silence on crypto. She also said this right here. She will encourage innovative technologies like AI and digital assets while protecting our consumers and investors. 
Well, she's the vice president right now. Why doesn't she do something about the SEC right now? Why is, does everything have to happen with her once she gets elected? Stop making promises. Do your job. You're the vice president of the United States. And we all know Biden is not running this country. If she wanted to make things look good, like she wanted to be pro-crypto, she could do things right now. That's my whole opinion on that. Donald Trump says, I think crypto has got a great future. Maybe we will pay off the $35 trillion with it. He didn't say Bitcoin. He said crypto. Not many people caught this, but they ran a $300 trillion on the ledger a few years ago. Global debt is about $300 trillion. And what did they do recently? Run a 10 quadrillion test for the Ripple stablecoin. Ripple isn't after pennies, folks. And that happened back in 2022. So twice now, last night, $342 trillion, And again today, $352 trillion. XRP payment ledger volume. A little help would be appreciated. Are we dealing with a glitch or the global debt on the XRP ledger? There's kind of a big difference is why I'm asking. And I remember that back then. Honestly, I think they're going to tokenize the debt on the XRP ledger. But again, it's something that we will see evolve over time. And right now, look at all those T-bonds coming to the XRP ledger as well through Open Eden. GOP congressional members urge SEC to rescind crypto rule SAB 121. In my opinion, if this rule is removed, it could be the most bullish event in the U.S. crypto adoption ever. This comes from Marty Party. Republican members of Congress from both chambers urged the SEC in a letter today to rescind its special rule for accounting for cryptocurrency assets. Why it matters. The one and only issue so far to unite Congress enough to pass a piece of crypto-related legislation through both chambers has been the rule in question, known as SAB 121. The House, White House vetoed it in May. What they're saying is both the House and Senate vote on H.J. Res 109 sent a clear message from Congress to the SEC. Issuing staff guidance to impose policy changes is not appropriate and violates both the spirit and the letter of the Administrative Procedure Act. We urge you to rescind SAB 121. Now, that would allow all the banks to custody digital assets. Do you know how big that would be here in the United States? And I honestly, because both sides want this, I don't see why the SEC doesn't go through with this. Because this is an easy path forward to start fixing the banks in the United States. This would change everything with the banking system. Let's hope this gets pushed through this time around. Big YouTuber got slandered by YouTube after talking openly about XRP and Ripple. Looks like they don't want the masses to know about XRP before it lifts off. Now, I don't know who this guy is, but I understand that YouTube sometimes takes certain channels down. Sometimes I get very close, I'm sure, because I tend to talk about the things nobody wants to talk about openly, like the Great Reset, Agenda 2030, things like that. And I do believe that they don't want the masses to come into XRP. I definitely think that is the whole reason why all the hype is going on around Bitcoin right now. They want all these people that aren't in crypto yet soaking their money into Bitcoin. So BlackRock and Michael Saylor can use them as exit liquidity when the time comes. But they definitely don't want you holding something about like XRP, though, because it's the future. The elites know it's the future. The BIS, the IMF, the World Economic Forum, the World Bank, the Fed, 
they all know what RippleNet and XRP is capable of. And, you know, we were lucky enough to have a vision enough to see where XRP was going. And that's why we invested in it early on. But again, I'm sure YouTube doesn't want us pushing this XRP content. But I do a lot of videos on XRP. I never got anything from YouTube. Digital Asset. DTCC Complete Collateral Tokenization Pilot. Now this is big because this is also going in the right direction. In the first use case, a digital twin was created of real world assets, USTs, for an investor and then set aside. The digital twin was registered with the Central Security Depository. The digital twin could be used for the same purposes as the asset itself, trading, lending, or collateral, for example. Next, the tokenized UST assets are encumbered in response to a margin call, a demand for increased value in the investor's brokerage account. The collateral was transferred in an atomic transaction visible in real time. In the third case, the investor called for the return of their margin and the call was settled instantly. This type of transaction typically takes a day or longer for settlement. So it looks like they're trying to figure out how to move tokenized assets and have them settle instantly in real time. And because this is going through the DTCC, you see, Securency, now, DTCC, Digital Assets, Securency's protocol can be utilized on the Ethereum, Stellar, Ripple, EOS, and other distributed ledgers, as well as on legacy systems, allowing for seamless on-chain and off-chain movements of tokens. We'll be clearing the coming ETFs when the ETFs themselves are tokenized. They will settle across these DLTs. Like I always said, BlackRock is going to tokenize those Bitcoin ETFs. They're going to end up on the XRP ledger and other networks. Same thing with Franklin Templeton. I think their tokenized Bitcoin ETFs are going to end up on the Stellar network. And you know, at some point, they're going to have to give a fair market value of digital assets because of this right here remember this starting tuesday dtcc will implement a 100 percent haircut on all cryptocurrency investments prohibiting the use of cryptocurrencies as collateral including etfs and other spot products now i think the reason that that they said this back then was because of the volatility inside of crypto. But once you give crypto a fair value, all of a sudden it can be used as collateral. It could show up on balance sheets. The banks can use it as value on their balance sheets. That's why that SAB 121 is so important. But you could see it starting to come together now. And everything that I'm seeing shows a massive network forming. And it's been going on for over two years now. And this network is almost complete. And I think when it is complete, that's when it's definitely going to be go time for some of these cryptocurrencies. But you know, when you're sitting here watching XRP go sideways, I know how frustrating that is. I know you're you're sitting there just anticipating it because I feel the same way. I want it to break out already. And, you know, this is the time you do nothing. You know, I always see people saying, I should have jumped into this crypto. It pumped 5X. Or I should have jumped into this crypto. But think about it like this. When XRP moves, it moves very fast. So if you were to sell your XRP to go chase something that's pumping, maybe by the time you get back into XRP, it's already sitting above a dollar. That can very well happen. That's why I'm always telling you, instead of doing that, just stay patient. Wait for it to happen. 
because this run is going to be fantastic. Every single person that does charts is saying at least $27 plus. 99% of them are saying three digits plus in this next run. It's going to look a lot like this back here where XRP achieved a new all-time high and pulled the 350X. If XRP does that again, I, I would be happy if XRP did half of that, to be honest with you, because we would still be very close to three digits. But if it pulled the 350X, we would be sitting over $200. And that's why I made that video the other day. Because a lot of people are really expecting that to happen. But you know, until it happens, you got to stay patient, stay positive, and let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.